Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of quadratic equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that a set is given to us which says, let S is equal to a set which consists of X where X belongs to real numbers R. And a quadratic equation is also given to us which says root 3 plus root 2 raised to x square minus 4 plus root 3 minus root 2 raised to x square minus 4 equals 10. So that's an entire set given to us and we have been asked to find how many number of elements are present in that set is. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us, they are 6, 4, 0 and 2. So we have to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the number of elements in this set S. So if I write the quadratic equation that we have been given, it says root 3 plus root 2 raised to x square minus 4 plus root 3 minus root 2 raised to x square minus 4 equals 10. So let's substitute some part of this. So let's say if I put the first part of the entire expression on the left hand side as t, we will try to figure out our second part of the left hand side in terms of t also. So let's figure out that. So if I'm putting, let's say, root 3 plus root 2 raised to x squared minus 4 equals t. So if I just take the reciprocal of that, let's find out 1 over t, what does it become? So it basically makes it 1 over root 3 plus root 2 raised to x square minus 4. So if I solve this further, I can write this also as 1 over root 3 plus root 2 to the power x square minus 4. Now once I have this power x square minus 4, let it be as it is. But if I see in the denominator, I have this term with the root. So whenever we have something in the root, to remove that, basically what we do is rationalize. So we multiply and divide by the conjugate of that expression which is present in the denominator. So that basically gives me that I will multiply both numerator and denominator with root 3 minus root 2. So that gives me 1 over t is equal to this if I solve it further 1 multiplied with root 3 minus root 2 gives me root 3 minus root 2 in the numerator. Denominator if I see now. It is a plus b into a minus b, which basically gives me a square minus b square. So if I use that idea, I get here root 3 the whole squared minus root 2 the whole square. So that gives me 1 over t is equal to root 3 minus root 2. The power is present, which is x square minus 4, divided by the denominator, which is root 3 squared, which is 3, and root 2 squared, which is 2. So that gives me 3 minus 2 and 3 minus 2 we know it's 1. So that gives you root 3 minus root 2 to the power x square minus 4. So we have this entire thing as 1 over 2. Now if you see actually it is nothing but the second part of the left hand side. So I know root 3 minus root 2 to the power x square minus 4 in terms of t that is 1 over t. So we have got the first part as t. The second part is 1 over t and if I use that in my quadratic, it basically changes to t plus 1 over t equals 10. So once I have that with me, I solve this further, I get this as t square plus 1 equals 10t. That gives me t square minus 10t plus 1 equals 0. Comparing this with ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. I get A is nothing but 1, B is minus 10, and C is 1. So if I further solve it, let's see what I get. So T basically becomes minus B, so minus of minus 10, plus minus root of B square, so minus 10 square, minus 4 A, C, 
and that's whole thing divided by 2a so 2 into 1 which is 2 so you get this as minus of minus 10 so it becomes plus 10 plus minus root of this becomes minus 10 the whole square which is 100 100 minus 4 which is 96 so 96 i get it as the value of root so value of t is 10 plus minus root 96 if I try to further solve this 96, I can write that further as 16 into 6. So 16 is being a perfect square divided by 2. So from here, I get 10 plus minus 4 root 6 divided by 2. If I split the denominator with both of them, I get 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So I get the value of t as 5 plus root 2 root 6 and I also get t as 5 minus 2 root 6. Now let's resubstitute t because we don't want t. We basically need the value of s that is the number of elements present in set s. So we need the value of x basically. So let's resubstitute. So we know that I substituted root 2 plus root 3 raised to x square minus 4 this whole thing as t so we substituted root 3 plus root 2 raised to x square minus 4 as t so i'm resubstituting that that basically gives me two equations the one equation is root 3 plus root 2 to the power x square minus 4 which is equal to 5 plus 2 root 6 the second expression I see here is again root 3 plus root 2 to the power x square minus 4 which is 5 minus 2 root 6. Now if I try to reframe the right hand side in terms of root 3 plus root 2 I can write this 5 as 3 plus 2 and 3 I can also write that as root 3 squared 2 also I can write as root 2 squared and I can also write this as 2 root 6 i can write as root 3 into root 2 so you get a square you get b square you have to a b that basically is nothing but expansion of a plus b the whole square left hand side i'll write it as it is so now if you see i have made both the bases same and once both the bases are same in this case i can just equate their powers so if I equate their powers, I get this as x square minus 4 as 2. And from there, I can get this as x square equals 4 plus 2, which gives me x square is 6. And that basically gives me x as plus or minus root 6. So I have got already two values from the first part of this expression after solving it. Let's try to solve the second part also here. So if I try to solve this, I'm writing my left hand side still as it is root 3 plus root 2 raised to x square minus 4. This again if I try to frame it in the expression a square plus b square minus 2ab now. So 5 I can write as 3 plus 2 which is nothing but root 3 squared which is 3 plus root 2 squared which is 2. So 3 plus 2 which is 5 minus 2 root 6 I can split as root 3 into root 2. So again it is a square plus b square minus 2ab which is nothing but expansion of a minus b the whole square. Now, the problem starts actually because if you see, the left-hand side and the right-hand side do not have same basis. So when they do not have same basis, we know that we cannot equate the powers also. So now what we can do is we can use the idea which we understood previously that if I have t as root 3 plus root 2 raised to x square minus 4, 1 over t basically becomes root 3 minus root 2 x square minus 4. Or I can also write this as 1 over root 3 plus root 2 raised to x square minus 4. Because t was that, right? It's equal to root 3 minus root 2 raised to x square minus 4. So from here, I can also write this as root 3 plus root 2 raised to x square minus 4 it's equal to 1 over root 3 minus root 2 raised to x square minus 4. So I'm just changing the denominators and the numerators. So from here, I can also write this as root 3 plus root 2 x square minus 4. It is nothing but 
root three minus root two raised to minus one raised to x square minus four. Because here, when there's no power, it's basically one. And when you take the reciprocal, the reciprocal becomes negative instead of a positive value. So from here, I understand root three plus root two raised to x square minus four. I can write that as root three minus root two raised to minus one. The whole raised to x square minus four is equal to root three minus root two the whole square. So from here, I understand when there are same bases. Now I can equate the powers that are present. So minus one multiplied with x square minus four equals two. So minus x square plus four equals two. From here, I get this as four minus two equals x square, and that gives me two equals x square. That basically gives me x is plus or minus root two. So from here we get two values of x further. So for the first part, I have got two values already. That is root six and minus root six. The second part gave me two more values, which is root two and minus root two. So in all, I have got four values of x. And when I have got four values of x, if I see the set that is given to me, it asks for number of elements in this set s. Which satisfy this quadratic equation, and for that I have got four values in the set x, which is root six minus root six, root two and minus root two. So these are my number of elements in set S, and that is equal to four. So the correct answer for this question basically becomes B, that is four. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of Finding the number of elements in a set which satisfy the given conditions of the set. So we solve that entire quadratic equation using the concept of rationalization, and then by the formula method we got the values of t. We re-substituted and got it as in terms of x and found the values for x, and in total we got four values of x satisfying the quadratic equation. That basically makes your answer as option. So B becomes a correct answer here. I will see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic, and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also. Who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JWE, so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.